Hey everyone, so today's video is for the YouTube Artist Collective, which is a group of us artists on YouTube who all make art around a common theme. We do this every two to three months and anyone is welcome to join in and draw the prompts. The themes get voted on by you guys over on our Facebook page and we announce it in advance so that people have time to prepare their piece. And the theme this time is phobias. Be sure to check out my links in the video description to see what the other participants made. It's kind of fun to see how each person interprets the prompt. Also, this is a digital speed paint, which is why this video is so short. Wee woo. See, now the police are after me because I'm doing a digital art instead of traditional art. I'm getting good use out of that wee woo graphic. The plan was to do some brainstorming digitally in Procreate and then do the art traditionally, but I just got carried away and I couldn't stop. And so I ended up doing the whole thing digitally. And Procreate speed paints are only fun to look at if they're short. So that's why this video is short. I don't wanna bore you too much. And speaking of boring, this intro is already too long. So let's get into the speed paint portion. So a phobia is an extreme or irrational fear or aversion to something. For this art, I thought I would just go with the general feeling of fear instead of illustrating a specific phobia. I took a bunch of pictures of my own face being lit from below, various expressions, and I narrowed it down to my favorites and ultimately decided to go with this one because it is very extreme. Some of the subtle ones were really cool, but I didn't think they would translate as well into an illustration. I just wanted that extreme, fearful face. So what are some of my phobias? Well, I had three main ones when I was younger, although they still linger to this day. One, tornadoes, because there were tornadoes where I grew up and they were super scary and I would have a lot of nightmares about tornadoes when I was little. When I moved to Vancouver, I stopped having them until we played this one board game that had a picture of a tornado on it and then that night I dreamt about tornadoes. Ugh. The next thing is car accidents. This one persists to this day. I'm okay driving, but I get scared a lot of the times riding with other people, especially if there are sketchy road conditions or something. I just, I am terrified of accidents. I've been in some and I have nightmares about it. That's pretty much how I determine whether or not something is a phobia for me. I'm like, okay, do I have recurring nightmares about it? Yes, okay. <laughs> Number three, you're gonna laugh, although a lot of you already know this, but I have a huge fear of dinosaurs, and I know they're extinct, allegedly. You know, I saw Jurassic Park, you know. It could it could happen, it could happen. They could bring them back, you never know. And I just, oh, if I'm camping and I hear a weird noise, I'm like, oh my God, it's a dinosaur. I used to check behind the shower curtain every time I peed to make sure there wasn't a velociraptor hiding in the tub. I don't know, I don't know, guys. It does say here in the definition, an irrational fear. And yes, totally irrational, okay? But I just cannot help myself. That is not a joke. I am legitimately terrified of dinosaurs. They could be out there. This is probably why birds freak me out because they're related to dinosaurs. I didn't have dinosaur nightmares for a while. Then the Jurassic World trailer came out and then I had dinosaur nightmares. And yeah, they still, they still pop up here and there. Another phobia is the fear of my pets being in extreme danger. I have recurring nightmares about this and I didn't as a kid, but ever since I became an adult, I've had nightmares like this. Like when we had our two dogs, Ben and Maddie, I would dream about them and then they passed away. And now we have two cats, Kiki and Midna, and I have nightmares about them. You're trying to save them, but they just keep slipping out into danger and you finally rescue them. But oh no, the window's open, they're out again. Ah, and it's like this never ending cycle of trying to bring them to safety. And sometimes there's just suddenly two of the same pet and you're like, what the heck? Which one's the real one? Which one's the clone? And you don't know what to do because you can't physically grab both. And it's, oh, they're just psychologically torturous dreams. You wake up and you're like, okay, I'm not going back to sleep because I don't want more of that. Now this last one is not a fear I dream about, but I'm terrified of things underwater. I enjoy swimming, but if something touches me, I will freak out. So seaweed, Enemy number one, kicking a fish, I would probably scream, but you know, not as bad as seaweed because it just keeps touching you and you're trapped in this forest of seaweed and oh, I hate it. And another thing I really, really hate about underwater is if you're in a swimming pool and there are jets, there are grates, vents, all kinds of things on the wall of the pool and on the floor of the pool, I cannot stand those. Like if I have to go to the wall of the pool, I will avoid the jets at all costs. I try to go between them, but even then I'm still freaking out that one is even even near me it's oh my god I just I cannot that was a fear that I had as a kid and I still have it to this day why can't swimming pools just be smooth everywhere well I know why but 
I hope you guys like the art of me all spook. I like how it's realistic, but not really. It's more semi-realistic because I stylized it. I don't know. I like it. And I like the demonic looking things in the background and the sketchy feel. It just makes it a little more dynamic. I don't know. I like this. And now if I'm ever scared, I can just use this as a reaction photo. Make sure to check out the other members' videos down below and let me know what are some of your phobias. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.